Part two of the most stupid arguments against veganism. Canine teeth, though. Our canines are extremely blunt. The biggest canines belong to an herbivore, the hippo. Is evolution a system based on survival or morality? Just because we can do something doesn't mean we should. Part three of the most stupid arguments against veganism. Lions, though. Some things to consider. Lions need to kill to survive and probably lack moral agency. Is evolution a system based on survival or morality? And the following. Lions and cavemen are great ethical role models. Plants have feelings. Abusing someone is fine as long as they're not as intelligent as you. These are arguments no one really uses unless they're defending their right to harm animals. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you get the chance. Shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, the Shut up! Part 2 of rating Carnist Excuses. This week we have canines though. This one is really, really stupid. Um... I don't know why y'all insist on appealing to nature when it has absolutely nothing to do with ethics, but okay. Um, since it's so stupid, I find it hilarious, so I kind of want to give it three stars. Just gonna stand there.
stop appealing to nature. Other animals kill to survive and lack moral agency, and if both were untrue, why would they automatically be 100% ethical beings? Just like we, uh, both of those things are untrue for us, yet we aren't. So why are we making wild animals in a survival situation our ethical role models? Why are we making a system that is based on survival, that is amoral and insentient, our ethical role model? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> No one who takes ethics seriously will do a serious appeal to nature because it's completely nonsensical and for some reason it's what you all revert back to all the time. Just gonna stand there. Like journal, Whoosh. young gang star for the kill switch. Yeah. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. Okay, Carnist. If it was child abuse, would you then care? See, it's not nature because we have moral agency and we do not need to kill and abuse and exploit animals to be healthy and happy. This is something that we can do in our everyday lives. We can choose to boycott animal exploitation throughout our entire day. Other issues we might not be able to do much about, but this is something that if you're not vegan, you're paying for all the time. Why do we care so much? I don't know. The question should really be, why don't you care? Like, why wouldn't you care about an, an, an injustice? So just because a lion does something that makes it automatically morally okay for me to do. So if I kill my newborn children for fun, then there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> when I go to court for it, I'm just gonna say lions do that. Lions do it. Wild animals are living in a survival situation. Why on earth would they be rational, moral, ethical role models in a modern day society? Not to mention we have moral agency and they do not. Nature is not a system based on morality, it is a system based on survival over time. Please stop appealing to nature, think with your brain next time. Plus, the appeal to nature has nothing to do with dairy, eggs, and animal testing, etc, etc, etc. Please stop thinking veganism is just about meat. I am sick and tired of it. Because it's not. That's only a little inch of what it's about. But, of course, let's appeal to nature and point our fingers at lions and say it's okay because lions do it.
Are you fucking dumb? What's more forceful, words or violence? Vegans are literally just talking about the abuse that you inflict upon animals who cannot defend themselves. And you are literally inflicting, inflicting violence and abuse onto animals who cannot stop what's being done to them. And they are being tortured and abused. And they do not want any part of the slavery and holocaust, basically, that we put them through. Like, the appeal to nature, you could say everything's natural, you could say nothing's natural, like, it, it doesn't- The appeal to nature has absolutely no weight on anything morally. Like, evolution is a system based on survival, what does that have to do with ethics? I just- I don't understand. Lions kill to survive and lack moral agency, and if both were untrue, they wouldn't be guaranteed to be 100% ethical beings, just like we are a part of nature, but we aren't. So why on earth are we just looking at lions and other animals and saying, because they do something, even though they literally need to do it to survive and lack moral agency, we can do it too then. The appeal to nature fallacy never dies, does it? What on earth does nature have to do with ethics? Other animals killed to survive, lack moral agency, and if both of those were untrue, why on earth would that make them 100% ethical beings when we are a part of nature, yet we aren't? Nature is an insentient and amoral system of survival. Just stop appealing to nature. It's like literally the most common argument in my comment section anymore. I don't, I don't understand. I just don't understand. Use better arguments. I'm not saying we aren't, we very well might be. But I literally do not care because we do not need to eat dead animals for health. Beyond that, you're just appealing to nature, which makes zero sense. Stop appealing to nature. Also, this would have nothing to do with us breastfeeding from cows or eating periods or bee vomit. That has nothing to do with being omnivorous. And in my opinion, the dairy industry is worse than the meat industry. But that being said, there is a lot of evidence that we are actually herbivorous. Our intestines are very long. We chew from side to side, not up and down. And our canines are literally so tiny, I don't even know why we call them canines. Also, canines have literally nothing to do with it. The biggest canines in the world belong to herbivorous animals. Naturally, we would not be able to, like, be a predator and take down animals and like eat them alive. That would not <laughs> work out. And we need to cook our meat before we eat it. We literally can't eat it raw. Also, we have to season it with plants to like the taste of it. Raw flesh does not taste good to us. The reason everyone hates vegans can be summed up with one message that we have. Without sugarcoating it, that message is that if you're not vegan, you're an animal abuser. Now right now you're probably pretty triggered and you're gonna go to the comment section and either troll or try to debunk veganism. If you're gonna troll, that doesn't debunk veganism, that's just you mocking animal cruelty. If you're gonna say plants feel pain, you obviously can't be that stupid to believe that and more plants are harvested for a non-vegan diet. If you're gonna say some duration of omnivores though, food chain though, lions though, stop appealing to nature or other animals killed to survive and lack moral agency and if both were untrue, why would they automatically be 100% ethical beings? If you're gonna say unhealthy though, what is the nutrient that vegans cannot get? If you're gonna say humane though, well the standard industry practices don't really change small to big farm and there's no kind when you do these things to animals, it's horrific across the board. If you're gonna say overpopulation though, no, their populations will go down with time, as we are the ones breeding them into existence for animal products. And I've debunked every single other excuse thousands of times on my account. The only one we need is B12, and we used to get B12 from stream water and dirt that was already on vegetables, but now everything is sanitized, so we cannot b get B12 that way. And fun fact, 95% of B12 supplements are fed to farmed animals, so you supplement B12 either way. But yeah, B12 does not come from animal products, it comes from soil, bacteria in the soil. So it's not really a health thing, it's not like, oh you're unhealthy because you have to take a B12 supplement, like no. Also, B12 is fortified in tons of foods. If it's an unnatural, though, argument, stop appealing to nature. And there's no reason that we would be unhealthy because we're taking B12 from, like, fortified foods or supplements. Again, you're getting it from supplements through someone else's dead body and breast milk and periods anyway. So yeah, why supplement it through somebody's dead body? Why not just go to the bacteria right away and just get your B12 directly? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> You're not a caveman. You're not a caveman. It's not Sprawl the fittest. You're not a caveman. We are in a modern day society. It's about time we start realizing that. It's also about time we start thinking for ourselves and questioning things instead of just accepting things as they are and never questioning why on earth we're eating dead bodies. 
Also, why were adult interspecies breastfeeding? So you're telling me you eat meat, dairy, and eggs to survive. You, you do it to survive. Also, if this is something about the food chain, just stop appealing to nature. It has nothing to do with ethics. Please, just end the appeal to nature fallacy. I literally can't anymore. It's so, so, so stupid. Is nature a system based on survival or morality? Other animals kill to survive and lack moral agency, and if both of those were untrue, why would they automatically be 100% ethical beings when we are a part of nature, yet we aren't? Uh, the appeal to nature fallacy makes literally no sense. And canine teeth, though. I don't know if you can see it, but my canine teeth are so blunt because ours are so unbelievably blunt. The largest canines in the world belong to an herbivore, the hippo. Also, gorillas were the, they're pretty notable. They eat bugs, but like 98% they eat plants and their canines are like gigantic. Like even if our canines were for it, like whatever. Like, again, stop feeling to nature what the world does have to do with morality. If it's like a health argument, like because we have canines, we need to eat animals for our health, then like, that's a completely different argument. And it's dumb because our canines are literally like so unbelievably, unbelievably blunt, blunt, and we resemble herbivores. What if I say, I know, you know, what if I told you I like you, we stay, we go, what if I told you I like you, I know, you know, what if I told you I like you, we stay, we go, what if I told you I like you. Hello and welcome to part 2 of my debugging anti-vegan excuses series. This one is about the relentless appeal to nature fallacy that never dies but shows up everywhere that I have already debunked literally thousands of times. The appeal to nature fallacy takes many forms. Some examples are lions though, food chain though, natural though, omnivores though, circle of life though, and canines though. But just because something happens in nature doesn't mean it's good or ethical. And another thing that's really important to point out is that lions, for example, kill to survive. We are not living in a survival situation. We can go to the grocery store and buy plants instead of harming animals. It doesn't harm someone's health to stop paying for animal cruelty. If anything, it only benefits. So we only abuse animals for sake of sensory pleasure, which is no justification for animal abuse. Number two is that other animals lack moral agency, but we, on the other hand, have moral agency. And if both of those were untrue, when other animals didn't need to kill to survive and had more- Yeah, but you're killing plants. Haha, <laughs> plant abuser. Uh, it's called the food chain. Weren't you ever educated eating animals is natural? Vegans can't even get B12. You're all B12 deficient. Yeah, and what about all the pesticides that are on your plant foods that like kill bugs and shit? Uh, if we didn't forcibly breed these billions of animals into existence to torture and slaughter, they would overpopulate and take over the world. I bet even your phone is made by child slaves, lol. Fucking hypocrite. I wish you vegans would stop forcing your views on me by talking with words and let me force my views on innocent animals through violence. Why else would they be on this earth if not to serve me? You annoying vegans just think you're morally superior to everybody else. My uncle- this week on debunking the appeal to nature fallacy for the 80 millionth time. No, it does not destroy the whole movement because that's the appeal to nature fallacy. Other animals kill to survive and lack moral agency and if both of those were untrue, why on earth would that automatically make them 100% ethical beings when we are a part of nature, yet we are not? Nature is an insentient amoral system of survival, why would we base our actions upon it? Not a great moral compass, honestly. Also, why don't you base your actions off the majority of animals on Earth who just eat plants. Also, if you're gonna appeal to nature, breastfeeding from another species is literally the most unnatural thing ever. That's called dairy products. And dairy is more unethical than meat, and that has nothing to do with the appeal to nature fallacy. If anything, you should not be consuming dairy because it's so unnatural. And eating eggs, which are chicken periods. Anyway, yeah, stop appealing to nature has absolutely nothing to do with ethics. Also, lions, for example, kill their own babies. Can we then kill our own children because it happens in nature too, though? <laughs> I am literally so tired of debating non-vegans. I have been doing this for well over a year now. I used to just do a handful of debates like a week, but uh, <laughs> yeah, since TikTok blew up, 
Uh, it's probably around hundreds to thousands a week now of non-vegans that I reply to. And it's been making me lose my mind, so... In particular, plants feel pain and they appeal to nature fallacy are the most common ones that just when you see it for the 80 millionth time, you just kind of like die inside because you have to repeat yourself for literally the 80 millionth time and people just never get this through their heads apparently. It's just like, okay. Um, <laughs> the annoying thing is I get new people on my account every single day and the old people leave so I have to just keep repeating myself. And there's so many arguments I just like repeat, 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 repeat and it's messing with my mental health. So I've been trying to cope with it by taking breaks from the comment section. But yeah, I don't know. I just want a place to vent about this. So yeah, bye. <laughs> Wait, what? That's a thing? What? I've never heard of this. Tell me more. For real though? Stop appealing to nature. And this is also my announcement that I am never going to cover the appeal to nature fallacy again on here i'm done with it washing my hands of it it's over i have so many resources and it's so stupid it shouldn't need to be debunked it's so stupid and again i've done it a trillion times so i'm sure if you really want to understand it you can find the resources so yeah it's been good appeal to nature fallacy also literally so like also yeah pause for that um like, I have so much content and videos specifically on the Appeal to Nature fallacy that it- the whole video is 20 minutes long and I have two other videos on my channel specifically for it, like, I've covered it, okay? 